Hello, this is Frank Ketchison. I'm the webmaster for the Inland Northwest Woodturners, and I'm here today to talk about MailChimp. MailChimp is a mail program that allows you to send out bulk emailings um, fairly easy without too much hassle, without having to use your own personal email. And I'm going to go through how to create an email so that we send out to the members. And this is only for basically the admin people because we're not going to let regular members just send out emails. So anyhow, we're not doing anything about logging in or whatnot. That's all information which I'll provide to those who need to have this. But we start off with the dashboard. And what we're going to do is we're going to conduct what's called a campaign. That uh, you see is this little up here in the upper left-hand corner where it says campaign. And you see that we had a recently sent campaign. This was actually the first one welcoming people to our new website. And you have a welcome. And it was sent to 89 subscribers. And the list was members but not admin. And the subject is welcome to the new Inland Northwest Woodturners website. And there you see 51 people opened it. That's 58.6%. We had 22 clicks from that um, email to the website. And the average they have down there, but hey, we're not going to worry about that. And then you have list growth and everything else, and don't need to worry about those now. We're just going to go here to campaigns, and we're going to create a campaign. We're going to do just a plain, a regular campaign, so we're going to select that. And that's usually what you're going to do. I'm going to choose members but not admin because we don't need this to go to the admin page or the admin people. And we're going to send it to the entire list. Then, with this whole page here, you think everything is up there in the upper left-hand corner, but it's not, because down here in the lower right-hand corner is the little thing that says next. That's where you go to the next step. And you can see here at the bottom what those steps are. First, you identify the recipients, then you do the setup, then you use a template, which is basically what you're going to have your email look like. Then you do the design, and then you confirm and send out the email. So I'm clicking on Next, and I now go to Setup. Name your campaign. This campaign is being developed because one of the things is that new members or people who are already members are receiving the email announcing the new website and they go to the website and they say, oh, sign up for the newsletter. So they sign up for the newsletter. Well, they'll already receive the newsletter because they're members. So something we didn't consider. So I'm going to name the campaign. The first thing I'm going to do is going to say, um, you don't have to sign up for the newsletter. I think that would get people's attention. Um, and the email subject, I'm going to just copy the same thing. And from the Atlanta Northwest Woodturners, I have my address there because I'm the webmaster, so I'm doing that out. And specify the mega tags. Um, and that just says, hey, it's going to be first name. So that's all I'm going to do. And I'm going to leave everything else the same. And I now go down over here and I'm going to say next. So I'm going to go now to the template. And a one column template, or I can do a, two, a one column banded, one two column. And there's a lot of different templates here that you can use. I'm not going to worry about those. I'm just going to use the simplest one right here, one column, drag, drag and drop. So you select that template. And it says, drop an image here. I'm going to browse, and I'm going to click on our logo. So that's selected. There it is. This is design your email. I click on the little writing thing there. It says, design your email. Okay. I'm going to go in here and say, if you, if you're, already a member you will receive the newsletter 
without having to sign up for it. And I'm going to highlight that right there. The newsletter. Oops, too many keys. Is a benefit of being a member. Now down here we just have a regular message. Now I'm just going to put in there um, some members have visited the new website and signed up for the news letter. This is not necessary if you are already a member. I'm going to take that out. If you have any questions, uh, I got to get a new typist. If you have any questions, please contact Frank. Oh, I'm not going to use that. Our webmaster. And I'll put my email there in just a moment. I'll put a space there. And then I'm going to take this part right here. And I go up here to link. And I'm going to say, hey, I want that to be an email address. The email address is going to be frank.hutchison at comcast.net. The subject is going to be signing up for the newsletter. And yet, insert the going down here. Let's see what we have. Message, but I'm not going to worry about that. Um, Oh, how do you like that? That's not working. Okay, well, hey, like I said, we're still learning how to do all this. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do this once again here. Put in a link, email address, try that again. Frank dot Hutchison at Comcast dot net and insert there it is. Now it came up just fine. And then I can come down here and this is a footer. Um, this is what they put in for most organizations, copyright their messages or whatnot. We are not part of the rewards program, so that goes away. Um, we're not going to worry about that. Oh, we can leave those in there. Our mailing address, I'm going to take that out because we've got it up above. And all rights reserved. There you are. So we clean that up. We save and close. And so there you have it. Nice, short, and simple. So we can now, we've done the design. Now I'm going to go to next, which is the confirm. So we list default header content. Oh, that's right. We forgot the header content. That's this little area right up here. And so just they obliterate uh, inboxes. Eh. Let's fix it, resize, that allows you to, so we'll do 600, there we go, apply, save, 
Yeah, it's already taken care of. And then up here, this is area to offer a short preview of your mail's content. This message corrects uh, misunderstanding with our earlier message. Misunderstanding. There we go. Correct spelling. I'm going to save. And so we should now be able we went back to design, by the way. Now we go to next. Okay, and so there you have all that. Just leave everything the way it is. And we are going to send it. Send now. You can also test your message if you want. In this case, I'm not going to because it has worked. So, and now it's been sent out. So that's all there is to it. And you just close out the MailChimp account and you're done.